This year I got a hernia, I was dealing with it around the world. Here's a story of how it went in hospitals from Brazil to Czech Republic. No, I'm not gonna go to a hospital in America. Today I'm here in front of the emergency care, 24 hour, in Garupaba. I got a problem with the hernia, so I wanna get a x-ray to have a doctor take a look at it. And let's see what's necessary to get this done here in Brazil as a gringo with no real documents. So first we'll sign in here, let's give him my name, CPF number, and then we'll wait. I've been waiting about an hour now. A few moments later. I don't really have much good luck in hospitals. That's why I go see laser wizards and take ayahuasca in the woods. But what they told me was, I have to take the prescription from them. They give me a prescription for an ultrasound. But they have an ultrasound here, but we can't use it because this place just opened on Saturday. It's a brand new facility, Garapaba, huh? And it's not ready yet, but they sent me to another place here. And basically, if you pay, you can get your treatment done quickly, swiftly. And if you want to use the public health care system, it's going to take time, maybe a month or so before they will be able to see you. So I got the hernia on April, May. I went and checked out these places. It looked like it could have been taken care of there quite easily with no insurance, just had to wait for the right date. And I love the Brazilian service for everything, but I had to go, went to the States, I'm not going to get it in the States. I did find out that if you don't have income in the States, now you get free health care. So that's cool for everybody making fun of America for not having health care. Actually, we do have it for poor people, so that's nice. Don't claim anything on your taxes and you can get free healthcare. Then I went to Czech Republic. Czech Republic, really good healthcare, mandatory. Even if you have a job, you're covered. Welcome to the Vojenska Nemocnice. Up on the hill above Prague Castle. i say this might be the best place to get treated. This is where the military goes. This is where the president gets some operations. I'm here for the first time, so let's see if I can find where I need to go. So this is it, the surgery pavilion. About three month waiting list. It's a good place, you know. If you want to get the surgery, you want a quality operation, this is a good place to go. They were very helpful. The doctor spoke English and they got crazy statues. So a lot of good recommendations here at the Army Hospital. So if you have an important procedure coming up, I would feel comfortable coming here in Czech Republic. They accept insurance. You come in, you walk in, take care of it. If it was an emergency, I would get it done sooner, but my operation is nothing critical. I just wanted to get it done because I'll be getting out of there in about a month to the beautiful Brazil. So I went and checked out a semi-private clinic, Palace Athena, also had really good reviews. It got me an appointment within two, three weeks to get the surgery done, so that was cool. Worked out perfectly for my timeline. Had a couple of weeks recovery in Prague before I could fly out and carry my bags and get ready to go surfing. This is my room here at Palace Athena, cool place. Got my own bed. Got a little drawer here where I keep my pajamas. Got my notebook in there. Gonna hang out here all night. Gonna kick me out in the morning. Maybe put something cool on the TV. Let's see, we got a bathroom on sweet. Ooh la la. Take a look at this puppy. That's right, a shower. Get fresh. Maybe have some cool roommates. Looks like I'm the first one here. Get a locker. All right, Czech Healthcare. It's a semi-private institute, so they had pretty quick booking available. Uh, see if I get a view here. Oh yeah, it'll be nice in the summer. Fresh air, baby. All right, let's get ready for a surgery, huh? A few moments later. Some porridge and a couple of guys with hernias. Worst part about this is just not knowing what you can and can't do. If you can fart, stand, go to the toilet. But I guess if they give me this, it's good to go, good to eat, let's see. The nurses and everyone were really cool. The anesthesiologist, he was the MVP. 
I didn't even see the surgeon. He was pretty antisocial. But uh, I guess the most worrying thing was getting knocked out. And what that doctor told me, the anesthesiologist told me that going under is like 30 levels below the level of consciousness you go to for the dream world when you sleep regularly. So that's pretty wild. So oh, here we go, got some nice little scourge here. All yellow still from the iodine two days later. Look how white I am. Who would have thought? Gotta get to Brazil, baby. Get this, get this color all around. Finally gonna go take a shower. Been laying around for a couple of days. In the end, it took me almost a year to get the surgery done. I didn't have confidence in it. I'd prefer to handle it on my own if it's possible. Everybody says it can be done, except for a few local people on YouTube. You can check out here below this other guy, Tom, who fixed his hernia on himself. And I believe it's possible. You just really need to focus. I didn't focus as much as I could have. Didn't do all the exercises, didn't do all the fasting. After living with the hernia for a couple of months, it got to be quite bearable. I was doing all the same exercises I would have. I just had a giant bulge in my crotch and it was a little uncomfortable, but the pain was almost not there. It was a small hernia, so that's okay. The uncertainty of situations was the worst part. So not knowing where to get the treatment, not knowing what you can do, not knowing what would happen if you overexert yourself. Finally getting it done, the surgery, yeah, the going under, when you're about to get knocked out, you get a lot of questions in your head. It's hard to relax when you're about to be put into artificial sleep coma. It's what is going on there, you know? I would like to read a book just about the lives of anesthesiologists, right? If you think about what they got to do and the amount of things they've seen. And then the recovery was also, how much can I move? What can I eat? You know, how can I lay down on which side? How? It's been over a month now and I'm feeling great. I was really, I'm happy I got it done. And I would just recommend make sure you go to a good place. Listen to your body. Listen to people you trust. Do what you got to do. Stay healthy. Stay loved. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Tell your friends. Tell me what you want to see. And until next time.